right, hi guys. I'm behind the camera today and what I need to do is work on my little sunflower seeds that I planted two weeks and four days ago. So I did a little YouTube video if you want to check that one out which is starting seeds and you'll see they are looking wonderful but they are outgrowing these little cell pods. So I'm going to bump them up into this size little pot over here hopefully keep them happy a little bit longer um, before I put them in the ground because I'm still busy preparing the place where I want to plant them. So you'll see they're flopping over. They grow really tall really quick. I mean this is 18 days and look at them. So hopefully if I bump them up they'll be nice and happy um, with that. So I've prepared a tray over here with um, lots of little pots. I've got my potting mix. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to bump them up. Right, so because it's a bit stretched, I'm just looking now how deep I want to plant it. Um, I may just put a little bit of soil in the bottom and then pop these in and then fill it up again. floppy because they've been stretching for the sun and they've been running out of pot space so hopefully these guys are going to be okay I feel like they will be because I've grown sunflowers before and they recovered just fine so I've labeled them all golden yellow and the next ones I won't bother labeling because I only have two varieties so I'm going to label the one variety and the other one will obviously be sunny bunch which is the second um, variety. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that quickly. Right, that's it for the sunflowers. So I'm going to go put them in the sun because they've been in the sun so they won't mind going back in. Actually they've been in the little greenhouse and it's getting to the afternoon now. I think they'll appreciate some sun especially now that they're in their big pots. Now this is the next job. So these are dahlia cuttings that I got 10 days ago. So some people say if you just put them in water they will start to root but I don't see anything happening. They're staying alive which is wonderful but there's nothing else that I can see going on. So I'm going to go ahead and do the way I've been taking cuttings from my dahlias. Now I haven't been super successful the first time I think they dried out and now the second time I've burnt them in the Sun yesterday was a scorcher and they burnt so I need to be better about my dahlia cuttings and um, I sure am gonna try and be better so I'll quickly show you how I do this another little pot filled with potting mix and wait. So rooting hormone. That's it. Got 
for a few more to do. So that's the water that this has been in and I've been wondering what the heck is going on. Now that I see the caterpillar, I don't know if you can see that, but it is full of caterpillar poop. These are my seeds that I sowed just over two weeks ago and you can see they are ready for their new home. So this one, I don't even know how you say that. It looks like Malaska, Malusella. It's going to be a big plant and already you can see it's bigger than any of the other seedlings. So I'm going to go ahead and transplant that. The phlox is in a six pack. I can just thin this actually and leave it. Might put one of those in there and that's it. That one's finished. Aster apricot. I actually have so many of these plants. I'm just going to thin that out. And now this is where the work comes in. So I need to take these and put them into a 10 or a 6 pack as well as these. So they have got some true leaves showing. Those are petunias. Echinacea pow pow wow, always poor germination the dichondra. So that is what I need to do now. Okay, so I've just prepared the cell trays over here. You can see they all have lovely moist soil in them. Now what I'm going to do is take these little baby seedlings out and I'm going to put them in over here so it's a very easy process all I do oh, what am I going to do first okay all I do is just make a nice hole in each cell and then one two three four five six seven eight nine no, mm. and these guys look pretty good. So there's a lot of little baby seeds in here. This is Madame Butterfly, more snapdragons. Then I just go with my spoon and I loosen the soil a bit. I find a snap bee. And I put it in a hole. That one, I could feel that I actually messed up its roots a bit. That wasn't a good one. Oh, there's another one. So, you can wait a bit longer until there are more leaves. Um, I've had pretty good luck by doing it like this. Even at such a young age. So these first two leaves that come through are not true leaves they're called dicotyledons they are just the first little leaves to emerge um, once the seed has germinated but once you get to two sets of leaves like on this one over here this is a lysum if you look carefully these are the first dicotyledons and these leaves the second set to come through those are the true leaves okay this is a much better example here that's that malacella so there's the dicotyledons, they are not real leaves, these are the first true leaves. So they say before you transplant you need to wait until the first true leaves have emerged. Now I don't always have the time to wait, I just have to garden when I can. So sometimes I do it at this really baby baby stage and I've been very lucky. So you get its little roots, pop it in the hole. 
and then I'll just go through with my fingers and squish it nice and tight into the hole and that's it so I'll choose the best 10 obviously if I want to do 20 I'll choose the best 20 and that's all there is to it the rest I will just discard so this can be quite time consuming but necessary these plants cannot all grow in this tiny little space together so now they need to move out so you can choose a six pack or a ten pack depending on how many plants you need and um, in my case I don't need any but here I am I want all the flowers So here we have a tray that I started on the day I sowed the seeds that I've, you just saw me put in. On that same day I took some seeds that I had sowed before and put them in this 10 pack. And look how good they look. So as soon as I know where I can put them they'll be going in the ground. And that's the process really. Very cheap way to have lots and lots of plants. Here are my snapdragons that I grew from seed and they are starting to flower now and just gorgeous.